essentially perfect speed pedigree, good sort, handsome, fast, good colour, precocious. He was a good fast two year old, but it was when he was three and he came out and recorded his best win. He defeated the older horses, group one winners like Moment of Change and Platelet, Wait for Age. Very quick, very fast horse. As we mentioned, he's by exceed and excel. He is as precocious a racehorse as you can get. Outstanding side, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Reset. He is the leading sire of statesman as a Victorian in the last five years. So he's, he's a very good stallion. He's sired 25 statesmen as overall, from two year olds to seven year olds, from 1100 to 2800. So he continually does the job. He gets them early, they train on, and he gets them overall distances. Yeah, it's his versatility as a stallion, his ability to sire progeny of the feature on the big race days gets me every time. Plain to see why he went to start, good sort, good family, very fast, very fast family. Since he's been at studies, he's signed 25 stakes winners, prize money of over 40 million, runners to winners percentage of 65%. When you're of his age, um, and he's, uh, as you mentioned, I think he's a 1992 model, when you're still on a commercial roster at a farm like Darley, um, you've done something right at the junior state. Von Costa the hero. He is a magnificent animal. He's got bone, depth, length, strength, muscle. Great big hindquarters, strong gaskins and forearms, and he's just a beautiful mover for his size. He is, of course, by a Group 1 winner in Costa de Lago. He's out of a Group 1 winner in Piavonic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you can see he's a really high quality, outstanding individual. A very handsome, skilled, ladies and gentlemen. As a two and three year old, he's, a, he's an elite performer. Yeah, he was the top rated two year old colt of this year. Um, and it was in the Champagne where he beat horses like an achiever, Yossi, Benito, Turek, Top, and ending that ratings. His, his oldest project has just turned one, the only yearlings, and we, uh, we at English are very, very excited about the opportunity of selling a number of them at the premier sale next year. He's a good sort, he's a good looking horse, very fast horse. Um, very much in the mould of Street Kai. I think this is his fastest son at stud. He's had Group 1 winners. I think he's an exciting horse to here in Victoria. Um, he's already got eight individual stakes winners. He's got two Grade 1 winners. Uh, winner to runner ratio of approaching 80%. So when you think about that, it's, um, it's, if that filters down to Australia, then we're going to have a bit of fun with this horse. The ultimate stadium for parade for today is Doomsday. First Victorian crop have hit the ground, they're running, they look good sorts, and he's now three year olds, horses like Kayla Miss, who's a states winner, Mr. Boomsday, Distraught, Sunset Rock, they're serious for carnal aspirants, so we're, we're in for a good show with him, I think. The final stadium for parade here today is Helmet. Yeah, he's a very good horse. He's tough, brilliant, on speed, did it at both ends. He's winning the sire, making Corfield Guineas in record time was simply outstanding. He was rated high enough to be champion two-year-old in eight of his last ten years. So take out Piero and Seaboy, who obviously got with little winning two-year-olds. He was rated high, so he's a fabulous horse. And at three without guineas, when he actually rated the equal of Fast and Rock and ahead of his sire at Seed Excel. What we've seen with his first crop of young weanlings that we've sold through the south has been outstanding. We've been on a lot of the farms and seen the year the, the weanlings that are by by helmet that are going to be going to sales right around the land. We've seen how well they've sold as well. He is a commercial no-brainer for me.